Welcome to RenewEnergy.com, your renewable energy and sustainability platform. At RenewEnergy.com, we believe in the power of clean, sustainable energy to transform the way we live and work. That's why we offer a range of solutions for businesses and homeowners looking to switch to renewable energy sources such as solar, wind, and water. Hello, dear viewers. If you're passionate about renewable energy, striving for a sustainable future, or simply curious about technological innovations that are shaping our world, then you're in the right place. Welcome to ReneeEnergy.com, the platform where we unravel the complexities of renewable energy and sustainability. Here, we dissect emerging technologies, explore groundbreaking research, and present you with the tools to understand the ever-evolving landscape of clean energy. Have you ever wondered how the world could transition to more efficient energy systems? Or perhaps you've pondered how massive ships glide effortlessly across oceans, or how some power plants can operate at impressively high efficiency rates. Well, one piece of technology is often at the heart of these marvels, the gas turbine. That's right. In today's episode, we're peeling back the layers of this fascinating machine that powers everything from electrical grids to jet aircraft. We're kicking off a new series entirely devoted to understanding gas turbines, a technology that is as complex as it is versatile. So, strap in and get ready to turbocharge your knowledge. Defining what a gas turbine is. The principles behind internal combustion engines. So, you might have heard of the term internal combustion engine tossed around when people talk about cars, generators, or even lawnmowers. But what does it really mean? Simply put, an internal combustion engine is a marvel of engineering where fuel burns inside a closed chamber, transforming chemical energy into mechanical energy. Imagine it like a mini explosion that's harnessed to do something useful, like propel your car forward or generate electricity. This principle lays the foundation for a myriad of technologies, one of which is the star of our show today, the gas turbine. How a gas turbine functions. All right, let's dive into the nitty gritty of how a gas turbine actually works. Think of it as an intense, controlled whirlwind of energy conversion. First, a compressor sucks in huge amounts of air and squeezes it, kind of like how you'd squeeze a sponge. This compressed air is then mixed with fuel and ignited in what's known as the combustion chamber. Boom! A burst of high-speed, high-temperature gases is produced. These gases rush through a turbine, causing it to spin like a windmill in a hurricane. This spinning motion not only powers the compressor but can also be used to do other useful work, such as driving a generator to produce electricity. Key Components Involved For those of you who love to know what's under the hood, a gas turbine has some critical components you should be aware of. 1. The compressor, think of this as the lungs of the gas turbine. It breathes in air and compresses it. 2. Combustion chamber, this is where the magic happens. The compressed air mixes with fuel and gets ignited. 3. Turbine, this is the muscle. It's what turns and generates the mechanical power. 4. Power turbine, if applicable, in some setups, there's a separate turbine responsible for transforming that rotational energy into something useful, like electricity. Common applications. By now, you're probably wondering, where do we use these amazing machines? Well, gas turbines are like the Swiss army knife of the energy world. They're used in 1. Power plants, sometimes solo, sometimes paired with other technologies for ultra-efficient electricity generation. 2. Industrial processes, ever wonder how natural gas gets from underground reserves to your stovetop? Gas turbines help pump it through vast pipelines. 3. Aviation, those magnificent machines that help you soar above the clouds? Yep, gas turbines are at the heart of jet engines. 4. Marine propulsion, from naval destroyers to luxury cruise liners, gas turbines help navigate the high seas. 5. Renewable energy systems, believe it or not, gas turbines are also finding a home in sustainable energy setups, like integrated solar or wind energy systems. A quick look at its historical background. Early developments and inventors. Gas turbines didn't just appear out of thin air, they have a storied history that would make any inventor proud. The roots of gas turbine technology can be traced back to the 19th century, with inventors like John Barber in England, who received the first patent for a basic turbine device in 1791. Fast forward to the early 1900s, and we have pioneers like Ahedius Elling, whose gas turbine designs were among the first to achieve a positive power balance. These early iterations were far from the efficient machines we have today, but they laid the foundation for what was to come. The role of World War II in advancing gas turbine technology. If you thought your high-pressure job was intense, imagine being a scientist during World War II. 
the global conflict lit a fire under the scientific community to push the boundaries of existing technologies, and gas turbines were no exception. Before the war, they were largely experimental, but wartime demands for more effective propulsion and power generation fast-tracked advancements in materials science and engineering. The jet engines used in military aircraft are a testament to this period of intense innovation, and many of the principles developed then are still used in gas turbines today. Evolution from niche to versatile applications. Post-World War II, gas turbines started popping up everywhere. No longer just for fighter jets, these mighty machines found their way into power plants, naval ships, and industrial processes. Researchers tinkered and toiled to improve efficiency, making it feasible to use gas turbines in a range of settings. Today, they are the heartbeat in many combined cycle power plants, and they even play a role in renewable energy systems. For instance, hybrid systems that combine solar power and gas turbines are gaining traction as a way to deliver reliable, efficient energy. Gas turbine versus other engines. Comparing gas turbines with piston engines. You may be familiar with piston engines, those loud, rumbling contraptions that power most cars and motorcycles. But how do they stack up against gas turbines? Let's break it down. Piston engines operate on a reciprocating motion. The pistons move up and down in cylinders, firing and resetting in quick succession. It's kind of like a mechanical dance, choreographed to perfection. Gas turbines, on the other hand, are all about continuous rotation. Instead of a stop-start motion, they maintain a smooth, ongoing spin, akin to a figure skater gliding effortlessly across the ice. This continuous operation generally results in higher efficiency at full throttle and less wear and tear over time. However, unlike piston engines, gas turbines are less efficient at partial loads, making them less suitable for applications requiring frequent speed changes. Another striking difference lies in the number of moving parts. Gas turbines usually have fewer, reducing maintenance needs. So, if you're considering the high-speed world of jet planes or massive power plants, gas turbines often come out on top. But for your everyday car or smaller generator, piston engines still hold their ground. How gas turbines differ from steam turbines. So, what about steam turbines? You might think, a turbine is a turbine, right? Well, not exactly. While both gas and steam turbines operate on the principle of converting thermal energy to mechanical energy, the way they go about it is quite different. Steam turbines, often found in coal-fired or nuclear power plants, rely on water vapor to turn their blades. The steam is produced in a separate boiler, meaning steam turbines work on an external combustion process. Gas turbines, on the other hand, are internal combustion engines where the fuel is burned within the system itself. Moreover, steam turbines typically operate at a lower speed and can be much larger, suited for base load electricity generation. Gas turbines are generally smaller, faster, and more versatile, often used for peaking power, mechanical drives, or in combined cycle arrangements. In terms of efficiency, modern steam turbines can be more efficient than gas turbines but usually only in larger, more controlled settings. Gas turbines offer the advantage of rapid startup and greater flexibility, making them ideal for fluctuating power demands. Basic thermodynamics involved. The Brayton cycle explained. Ah, thermodynamics, where physics meets real-world applications, right? In the case of gas turbines, understanding the Brayton cycle is key. This is the fundamental thermodynamic cycle that underpins how gas turbines function, and it consists of four main processes, compression, combustion, expansion, and exhaust. 1. Compression, air is drawn into the compressor, where it is squeezed, increasing its pressure and temperature. 1. This is the intake phase. 2. Combustion, the compressed air then moves to the combustion chamber, where it mixes with fuel and ignites. This dramatically increases the temperature and energy of the air but keeps the pressure nearly constant. 3. Expansion. This high energy, high pressure air is then passed through the turbine, where it expands and cools, driving the turbine blades to rotate. 4. Exhaust. Finally, the cooled air is expelled, often to be reused or to perform other work like heating or mechanical drives. It's a continuous loop of ingesting, exploding, spinning, and exhausting, each step carefully calibrated to maximize the conversion of chemical energy into mechanical energy. Efficiency metrics and considerations. Now, let's talk about efficiency because, let's face it, nobody likes a gas guzzler. The efficiency of a gas turbine is often expressed through metrics like thermal efficiency, which is the ratio of the useful work output to the heat input from the fuel. 
Higher thermal efficiency means the turbine is better at converting the fuel's chemical energy into useful mechanical work. Several factors can impact the efficiency of a gas turbine. 1. Compression ratio. A higher compression ratio generally improves efficiency but also requires stronger, more heat-resistant materials. 2. Turbine inlet temperature. The hotter you can make the air before combustion, the more efficient the cycle becomes. 2. However, this also demands more advanced materials that can withstand such temperatures. 3. Cooling technologies. Advanced cooling methods for turbine blades allow for higher operational temperatures, improving efficiency. 4. Variable speed operation. Some modern turbines can vary their operating speed to improve efficiency during partial load operation. Material and design evolution. Improvements in materials like turbine blades. Material science is the unsung hero of technological evolution. When it comes to gas turbines, one of the most critical components is the turbine blade. These blades have to withstand incredibly harsh conditions, extreme temperatures, high pressures, and tremendous forces, all while spinning at dizzying speeds. Early blades were made from materials like steel, which although robust, couldn't handle the thermal stress over long periods. Enter advanced materials like superalloys, ceramics, and composite materials. Superalloys, often nickel or cobalt-based, have emerged as a game-changer. They offer excellent heat resistance while maintaining mechanical strength. Some even contain intricate internal cooling channels to manage heat more effectively. These advancements extend the life of the turbine and increase its operational efficiency. Design changes that have impacted efficiency. The journey from the gas turbine's inception to today's state-of-the-art models is a masterclass in iterative design. Let's focus on some key design changes that have significantly impacted efficiency. Blade geometry, the aerodynamic design of turbine blades has seen incredible advances, aided by computational fluid dynamics, CFD, simulations. Modern blades are often twisted and tapered to optimize airflow, which significantly improves efficiency. Variable geometry, some modern gas turbines come with adjustable stator blades. These blades can be repositioned to adapt to different operating conditions, enhancing performance across a broader range of scenarios. Combined cycle systems, another huge leap in efficiency comes from combining gas turbines with steam turbines in a single power plant. The waste heat from the gas turbine is used to generate steam, which powers a second turbine, squeezing even more energy out of the same amount of fuel. Additive manufacturing, 3D printing techniques are being employed to create components with complex geometries that were previously impossible or too expensive to manufacture. This opens the door to entirely new design possibilities aimed at optimizing efficiency. Coatings, advanced thermal barrier coatings protect turbine blades from extreme temperatures, allowing for hotter combustion and, hence, more efficient energy conversion. The future of gas turbines. Role in renewable energy systems. When we talk about the future, we can't ignore the elephant in the room, sustainability. Gas turbines, traditionally associated with fossil fuels, are finding a new lease on life within renewable energy systems. One notable example is the use of gas turbines in hybrid systems that combine solar or wind energy. During periods when the sun doesn't shine or the wind doesn't blow, gas turbines can quickly ramp up to provide consistent power. This creates a more reliable and efficient energy mix. Advances in fuel types, including hydrogen. Ah, hydrogen, the darling of futuristic fuels and a topic of growing interest. Hydrogen gas turbines are no longer science fiction, they are very much a part of the research and development landscape. Hydrogen offers the promise of high energy density and zero carbon emissions at the point of use, making it a tantalizing option for future gas turbine fuels. Companies are actively exploring hydrogen-compatible turbines and other alternative fuels to pave the way for cleaner, more sustainable energy solutions. Summary and takeaways. Condensing the key points discussed. 1. Gas turbines operate on the Brayton cycle, involving compression, combustion, expansion, and exhaust. 2. Material science has significantly impacted turbine efficiency, with the development of super alloys, advanced cooling systems, and thermal barrier coatings. 3. Design innovations like variable geometry, combined cycle systems, and additive manufacturing are pushing the boundaries of what gas turbines can achieve. 4. The future holds promise for the integration of gas turbines in renewable energy systems and the utilization of alternative fuels like hydrogen. Why understanding gas turbines is important today. In our rapidly evolving energy landscape, gas turbines play a critical role. Their versatility and efficiency make them a key player in everything from aviation to electricity generation. 
Understanding the mechanics, history, and future of gas turbines is not just an academic exercise, it's vital for anyone interested in the technological solutions that will power our future. As we wrap up this comprehensive look into the world of gas turbines, it becomes evident that these amazing machines are much more than mechanical wonders, they are a testament to human ingenuity and adaptability. Stay tuned for more fascinating insights as we continue to explore the ever-evolving world of energy and technology. Thank you for choosing RenewEnergy.com as your go-to source for all things renewable energy and sustainability. With our YouTube channel, we explore the latest developments and innovations in the field, including hydrogen fuel cells and the use of AI and machine learning to optimize energy consumption. If you're ready to take the next step towards a cleaner, more sustainable future, visit us at RenewEnergy.com and discover the many ways we can help you transition to renewable energy. Thank you for watching and subscribing. Stay up to date on all the latest news and insights by subscribing today.